okay so hi guys uh, today we'll learn how to create a simple donut chart in tableau and how to do the formatting and everything so that it serves our purpose of uh, analyzing the data okay so uh, before starting uh, to create a donut chart i will give you a little background about what actually a donut chart is so usually in a donut chart is very similar to a pie chart the only thing is the middle part of the pie chart is usually uh, kind of you can say it's like a hollow where you can either show the total and then the outer rim of the uh, of the donut basically it will uh, get segregated based on the dimension and show the uh, respective uh, measure value for each uh, dimension value okay so uh, let's start with creating a donut chart uh, so let's uh, proceed with the first step that is basically to create a pie chart okay so basically the development of donut chart starts from creating a pie chart first okay so what i will do i will take segment as one of the dimension and uh, then i will take profit okay and i will create a simple pie chart out of it by going to show me okay so this is my first step second step is to create a static measure value okay so if you can see over here i have created one measure uh, and the formula is nothing much just i have put number one over here that's it okay now bring this number one to the row shell two times okay so either you can drag it two times or you know you can just click it over here control and then uh, drag it in the row shell itself okay so it will create a copy but we need only two times so yeah so that's it okay now as you can see the default aggregation over here is sum okay we don't need sum over here we need the minimum value okay so that is one okay so what i will do i will uh, click here i will go to the aggregation for measure and i will click on minimum same i will do for uh, another sum one that's it okay so now you can see two pie, pie charts over here right one for each of this major value now the next step is to create a dual axis chart out of this okay so for that you have to go to this second main one click here and you will see an option for dual axis so you can click on this okay so now as you can see we have one pie chart but with two axes right so now what we have to do we have to remove this axis basically right so we are, if once we get rid of this then we'll be left only with one pie chart right so right click here uncheck show header again right click here on this axis uncheck show header that's it okay. so now we have this one pie chart but one difference you will see that in this mark section right you can see now we have uh, at least for this min one as well as this min one two right so we have mark for each of these two measure that we have dragged here okay so now we'll play around with this to create a donut chart okay. so next step is go to this min one two okay and remove all the dimensions and measures that you can see over here okay. done so now you will see this pie chart get uh, converted to a gray color circle right yeah so now next step is go to colors uh, color this as white okay that's it now another step again go to size and slightly reduce the size of this pie chart for this min one two okay and boom here is your donut chart okay now what will we do since it looks very small right as compared to the worksheet so i will do some little bit of formatting uh, just you can also notice how i'm doing that so i will increase the size of the min one okay and i will do entire view over here again i will go to min one two and i will increase the size of this again but it will again it will be little uh, lesser than the size that we have given for min one 
so now you can see we have our donut chart ready okay but it's still there are no labels on this donut chart right so i think so although once you will uh, hover on it it will give you the segment and profit values okay but it's still i think it, it will be better if we have some labels right so what we'll do we'll go to min one okay we'll drag segment to labels okay again we'll go to profit and we'll drag it to labels of min one okay. so here you go now you can see the label for each of these uh, sections of donut uh, okay now but still you see that in the tooltip right you are getting this min one option min one value right which is which doesn't make sense here but why it is showing because we have dragged these uh, attributes into our chart right so what you can do you can go to the tooltip and you can remove it from here so now you will only see segment and profit okay now another good practice is to show the total in the center of the donut chart right so here you see for home office it the value or the profit is 60k for corporate is 91k for consumer it's 134k right but if so this is the split of total profit right so if we'll so show the total profit in the center that will make more sense right so let's do that so for doing that you have to go to min one two okay and drag profit again into the labels okay so boom so here is your total profit made that is 286k okay again here also you will see in the tooltip you are seeing that min one one right so you can go to tooltip remove this from here and that's it now you will not see that okay and i think it's always better that since it's the total uh, we'll increase the font size for that okay and that's it your donor chart is ready uh, it's giving you the segment uh, the profit by each segment okay and the total profit in the center so yeah so it's quite easy the only thing is there are multiple steps to follow and but if you'll you know try on your own for a couple of times it will be really easy for you to uh, to make one okay so thank you very, uh, very much for watching this video if you have any questions uh, put it in the comment section and i will definitely respond back to that thank you